Hey you guys, it's SD. Got a little bit more work done here. Here's the uh, inlet and outlet vents there for the uh, battery box. Cut some trim up there and just use the Fosner bit and drill the hole in it. Got some uh, window screen. Keep the mice and stuff out. Started doing some wiring today. But uh, there's the battery box. I put a panel up over here and the one on the other side here. And I got a little storage shed up above there. Put another one up on the on this side here. And then I took some uh, scrap 2x4s and just made a little easy step up ladder to get up to the uh, storage space. Got that all set up there. There's my little T105 battery carrier right there. And we got Missouri Wind and Solar Controller all hooked up. We're in 12 volt mode. Still trying to decide if I want to go 24 or, or what, but 20, 12 volt right now I've got the inverters for that. Don't have the solar panels hooked up. That's the next little job. Hopefully I can try to get it all wired up this evening. But I came off from the batteries with some uh, Zero AWG. It's a uh, OFC oxygen free uh, copper high current cable. Should be able to carry quite a bit of amps. Just tied it off there. Come in here to the battery. Use the same kind of connections to the batteries. I left the uh, negative a little longer because once I fill up the battery box, it'll end up back there, and I didn't want to have to keep buying new links. So that should work okay. Put a little petroleum jelly on each of the connections and snug them down to where they're nice and tight there. Uh, all those lugs in the batteries and up into the uh, electrical box. The Missouri Wind and Solar Control Box. It's all homemade connections. Nice little setup. Jeff came up with a really nice little controller here. Can't wait to get everything all hooked up. I've got it bypassed. Uh, they say to bypass this one lug, take it from here. Uh, it was over here originally. We moved it over to here. And that way when I get the uh, solar panels hooked up, it will uh, show the amps of the solar panels. But those batteries have been sitting out for almost two and a half weeks out in the, a piece, a piece of wood out there behind where I started building this shed. And they're still sitting at 12.40. Uh, so it's not too bad. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get back at it. Start seeing if I can get the mounts set up on the roof there and get some solar panels going. Got all the conduit and everything to run it down in, so it should come out halfway decent. We'll catch you later.